In an earlier video, I did a, um, I showed how to convert the uh, proprietary pet safe battery packs so you can use regular CR2032 batteries. And uh, today I'm working on this again. I want to make a test fixture to be able to test the uh, correction voltage. And basically it's just a neon bulb that you put across here. And uh, they, they give you one uh, with the uh, kit. But it's just a couple of wires and it's not that convenient to use. So I made one using uh, just a piece of wood here. And it's got a, this, you can see the, uh, you can hold it like this down low. The, uh, the, the receiver fits, plugs right into this uh, piece of wood here. And uh, there's a neon bulb here. I can activate it and you can see the bulb flash. And... Uh, so it's working, That's, and uh, it's a good indication that you know the, the collar is working. But the, I want to make it a little better. I want to make it a little longer, so I don't have to. I want to. I want the. I want the um, bulb to be up higher, so I'm going to use a longer run of wire, and I'm going to use this wood here, just longer stick to do it. So I'll show you. I'm going to get started making a, a second one right now. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, using this piece of wood, I'm just going to press in uh, firmly and make an indent in the wood and that'll show me where to drill. So I've got, um, I just pushed in and I see two indents there and I'm going to drill those. They're about a quarter of an inch. I've got a drill set up here for that. So I want to check and make sure it's going to plug in. That's good. It plugs in a little firmly. That's nice. I like that. And now I'm going to change the drill bit to smaller drill bit. I think it's like a 16th or something like that. And that's for the wire. And I'm going to drill it beside the other hole that I just drilled. Might be kind of hard to see, but I've got the small holes drilled right above the small, the larger holes. And so now I'm going to take uh, some of this wire I've got. And strip it back and put it through the hole. Stripping back a lot of wire. And so what I'm going to do, that's probably, I don't know, two, two inches or more. I'm going to put that through the small hole. And I'm going to run the wire all the way out of it, the insulated part. I'm going to bring it around inside the bigger hole. And just wrap it around and twist it. And I'm going to do the same thing with the red wire.
we got the red wire coming through. I'm going to run that back through the big hole. And twist it. And so those bare wires are going to make contact with um, with the probes. Now I'm going to twist the wires. I'm going to put the ends here. I'll put the ends in my drill. Chuck it down on there and then uh, just twist the wires. Just to make it a little neater. Now we got my heat gun here, hot melt glue gun, warming up. I'm going to um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this wire and terminate it onto um, the neon bulbs. I'll show you the neon bulbs. Got them at DigiKey. And they are uh, A1A-ND. They're just real common neon bulbs. And uh, I think they fire at about 65 to 90 volts. And they're pretty handy to have for indicating AC voltage. Here's what they look like. Uh, one bulb with the the bare wire and I used to use these a lot in uh, you could you could wrap one in one wire around an antenna on a like a two meter antenna two meter transceiver and when you keyed the uh, transmitter it would light the light and be it give you a pretty decent indicator that your transmitters putting out power And I think it also would work with a CB radio, but I'm, I can't remember. So I've got some crimp ferrules here. And I'm trying to find two acceptable sized ones. So now I'm going to strip the uh, these wires back here. These are real handy strippers too. If you if you don't have a pair of strippers, those are, those are nice ones to, to find. And so now I'm going to attach the. Uh, I'm going to zoom in a little so you can see maybe. Got a ferrule here on the wire. I'm just going to slide the uh, neon bulb into there. I'm going to give it a little bit of slack there. And uh, usually I use a crimper, but uh, it doesn't work very good in this application, so I'm just pinching it with the long nose pliers. And I'm going to Hook the other one in now.
So I've got the connections here made. And next thing I want to do is just uh, hot melt glue this down. Got like an impromptu working station here. So I'm going to capture the bulb uh, on the tip with the hot milk glue to start with. So now I can plug in the collar. Let me zoom back out a little. So I can hold the collar down pretty low to the ground where the dog would be. And the light's up here by my hand so I can see it. So now I'm going to test it and see if it if it if uh, if it works. Works pretty good. <laughs> 